Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you been reading about the new COVID variant, the Omicron? It's been coming from South Africa and countries in Southern Africa. It's been found in several countries across the world. Many of the world's airports are shutting down. Countries are closing their borders. They're not allowing people to fly in from certain areas. Restrictions are coming fast and furious. And if you start reading the news, U.S. readies fight against Omicron, but too soon for lockdowns, according to Dr. Fauci. Pay attention to what the actual words are. Too soon for a lockdown. So they're warning you. That to me is a direct warning that more lockdowns are imminent. Americans should be prepared to fight the spread of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron. But it's too soon to say what actions are needed. Dr. Fauci also said, The United States must do anything and everything amid likely cases of the variant. What do you think they mean with the warning of anything and everything? This to me is a major wake-up call. You need to take this as a direct warning. Anything and everything is coming and that's going to include lockdowns stay-at-home orders, closing stores and businesses, disrupting the life that we've been trying to get back to normal again. Dr. Fauci said in an interview he believes people will have to begin living with COVID, expressing doubt that the virus will be eradicated. I think we're all aware that just like colds and flu, viruses are endemic. They're part of our world. We need to learn to deal with them and you're never going to eradicate it. The variants are rising so quickly that you're never going to be able to change any of it. Even when you look at what the flu shot is, there are hundreds of types of flu and when you get your annual flu shot, they're trying to decide which strain of the flu is most likely to affect the population and that's what you would be injected to help protect you against the one or two, maybe three most common types of flu. Some years the calculations are wrong and it doesn't help protect you against the strain of flu virus that spreads throughout the world. Fauci touched on previous remarks in which he said he would like to see daily infections fall below 10,000 in order for the U.S. to be able to live with COVID. It's noted that COVID-19 infection rates are approaching 80,000 per day. Fauci is also saying to expect a fifth wave in COVID-19 infections as health officials warn about spread of the Omicron. COVID is spreading eight times faster than when they're going to allow you to return to normal, but now there's a new variant that could be worse, spread faster, infect more. You better be prepared to do what you need to do to take care of yourself and your family for the next weeks and months. Because look what they're saying, it could last for weeks or months. You need to take several steps quickly before they make an announcement that could affect all of us in a negative way. Make sure your car is full of gas. Make sure that you have cash on hand. Make sure you have plenty of open and eat foods that you can just make a simple meal for your family. Load up on foods that can live in your pantry because if on top of this you have a power outage, then you're going to have a extra complications if you don't have a way to keep your food safe or to prepare it. If you don't have some type of an emergency stove as simple as a butane stove, get something. Get the fuel canisters that go with it and a way that you can light those canisters, whether it's matches or lighters. Build up your emergency water stockpile. You don't have to buy bottles of water, but you can. If the water coming out of your tap is already safe to drink, you can fill containers and store them aside so that you have the extra water that you need for an emergency situation. There are many ways to purify water. If the water that you've stored runs out, you can have bleach, you can have a water filtration system, you can get other kinds of tablets and things but make sure that you have some way to purify water if for some reason you don't have enough 
or the water flowing into your house becomes contaminated because emergencies tend to dogpile. Just when we think we can face it, we can get through the one thing that's happening, then something else could happen. But if you are ready for whatever comes your way, you're still going to be all right. Dr. Fauci says the fifth wave or the magnitude of any increase, if you want to call it that, will turn into a wave. will really be dependent upon what we do in the next few weeks to couple of months. Millions of eligible U.S. residents have not gotten vaccinated, compounded with those who are beginning to experience waning immunity from the initial doses have resulted in diminished levels of community immunity. Pfizer already announced they're going to have a new vaccine ready for the Omicron variant within 100 days. Only you can make the medical decisions for yourself and your family. But be aware of what the rhetoric is and what the developments are and what is going on around us. If we get weary and tired of listening to the news and then we turn away and don't pay any attention, we can certainly be blindsided by big emergencies. So you need to pay attention, but don't dwell on it until the news just makes you hurt in your heart or it gets you so upset that you don't know what to do. If you realize the strengths of emergencies you've been through before, you know that you can weather any storm. We don't want to, but it's something that we can do. If you're not sure if you're making the right decisions, you need to listen to your body because your gut can tell you and that in your heart you can sense, what do I need to do? They've even done research on chess players and they put some sort of a way to measure their responses and the heart rate and the gut pain came right before they made a wrong move. And so your body is really telling you what to do. Your brain is telling you what to do. Your brain knows, but it can't always tell you the right answer, but it can give you sensations to help that you can make the right decision. If you're religious at all, it could be the Holy Spirit or your guardian angel that's helping to guide you through these difficult decisions and times. Please take this as a wake-up call. Prepare for the unexpected because that is certainly what we've been going through for nearly two years and it doesn't look like these hard times and these difficult situations are coming to an end anytime soon. I wish we were approaching the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow any minute, but that doesn't look likely. So prepare to hunker down a little longer because we can get through this. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny Channel.